I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. You, like, completely lost it up there. And for no reason, either. I mean, we should be, like, in this together. I know, I know. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow up. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air, too. Just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I, uh... Went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized. Not for a while, but, you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know. But this is, I want to, this is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it doesn't... No, not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, this hasn't shaken anything loose or made you, made you sort of reconsider? No. I, I mean, we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees, like, a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad kind of didn't care, but tonight's kind of... I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought, but I don't know. I was just wondering if... Is that... Oh my God, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well I was going to say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, how... How are you... How are you not dead right now? Like, swan dive out of a window, empty pool dive, dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they want to... Maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, like, talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Larissa, how are you, uh... Doing, hun. Alex, little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Clarissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she... okay, or...? Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? 
Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother- Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just- We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She- Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world and she likes to take it out on me and- and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a- No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like- It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she it a... doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Enough! I mean it. Jonas, don't... Just don't think of me like... I don't. I won't. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was... It was like she was just here. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, she was, but we're looping again, so God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... why are there ghosts? Why... Maybe tuning in just knocked everything off center a bit? <sighs> but I mean, I might as well be talking about flying carpets, because just who knows with this stuff. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Let's get in. Come on, Alex. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Uh, wait, what about, like, the alarms? Yes, please, come and arrest us. Just get me out of here. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. I go looking for trivia, I end up with disappointment. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says Keep that back. you use them like identification Unicorn. tags. Echo. It must work Eventually. for the gate, too. Oh, great. Let's hike it back to the gate. Everything oh, wait, look at this. Alpha. Personal effects November. of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Tango. India. Keep back. Why would her stuff Unicorn. be here? Didn't Echo. her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can Everything head back. I'm just gonna... Here, Alpha. this is... No. To whom? it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction 
may carry a far greater risk. Many truths. Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh god, chores. I don't care if the soldiers secretly smoked opium or got the village wives pregnant, I just want to get out of here. All right, just let me finish. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just signed, uh, Margaret Adler. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out, the sun is, I guess it barely came out just now, but see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait. Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad- I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop, yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's... Where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... Never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island, Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think, yeah, I <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh... <laughs> Are you, like, faking it, or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing! All right, sorry. So... I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. 
Anybody want anything? Um, no, I'm good. No, thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's... okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. That sounds awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. I guess you had to be there then. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? You want my unvarnished truth? I think you should dump her. Really? Why's that? You can do better, that's all. I mean, whatever happened to Angie? Or, uh, or, or Kristen? Angie moved, and I just stopped calling Kristen, but okay. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, Clarissa's gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got, like, this is gonna sound insane, but whatever, possessed and got time-looped away. Oh, so there's that. What? Where is she? Clarissa will be fine. She's... she hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So... I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. First, we will eat and drink. And then we'll go and see the girl. Yeah. On the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. First, we will eat 
and drink. And then we'll go and see the drink. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Negative, but maybe I just missed it. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? Um... The keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back, in the kitchen. 
I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. I'm not... I'm not listening to this, all right? I'm not playing along anymore. Oh, just come down, and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? It'll be all right, I promise. <laughs> Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the sword to chop off your head. Nona, can you... can you hear me? Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas, I... I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. There you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother. I don't want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Once they caught the fish alive, four. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Nona. Wait, look at that. The little ones are back now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, 
Six. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex. So stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and f the, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago and... Well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. What is it? How, how can you... How can you come back from something like this? The lack of eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. There has to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like. But how- There's no excuse for stealing our- our souls. Well, it's the only excuse you're gonna get. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. He should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, lest ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, cause God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best, I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. Clarissa uh is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all 
infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? Oh, I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like, just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff, at least. But really now, what plan are you talking about that Maggie had? Yeah, I'm uh, curious. She wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well... If we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work or- Or we're boned. Or we're boned, precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be- Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake- Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. <sighs> I'm just... I don't... <sighs> It's just that I've been staring at your face so much, I'm going to be dreaming about clawing your eyes out tomorrow. What? That's a thing? Jesus, maybe we should split up. No, no, this is fine. I mean, why mess with success, right?
All right? Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't.